So today, let's talk about applications of algebra, how we use algebra in real life situations, or as you've probably thought of it, worded problems. So how do we solve worded problems? There's a few steps. So first step, read the question carefully. You'd be surprised how many people don't read the question or they just skim through it. You've got to read the question carefully. You highlight any important information and that includes anything about rounding. So as you're reading, you're highlighting or underlining the important information. You draw a diagram of the situation, if appropriate. More often than not, you're drawing a, you're going to draw a diagram. Sometimes it will come with a diagram, but you'll need to you know, draw your own or add things to it because there might be some distracting things on it. Express any information as an equation or an expression. So there might be information given in words that you can then write as an expression or as an equation. So write that down. Then you solve the question, but you solve the question that's asked. So make sure, and this is why we highlight the important information, that you're actually answering the question that's asked. All right, so let's have a look at an example. Let's see our textbook. So a rectangular book cover is eight centimeters long and five centimeters wide. Calculate the area of the book cover. Okay, so I'll do that bit first. So this was part A. So let's do our diagram. So it's a rectangle and I'll try to have Nice straight lines. There we go. Okay. So it was eight centimeters and five centimeters. So eight centimeters and five centimeters. Okay. So we remember that the area of a rectangle is length times width. So that's eight times five. So area equals 40 square centimeters. Don't forget the units. Okay, so part two. Now this is split up into several things, several questions. Let's read them one at a time. If the length of the book cover is increased, by v centimeters, write an expression for its new length. Okay. So the length is increased by v centimeters. So now you can picture it. Got five there still. And now it's eight plus V. So that expression for the length is eight plus V centimeters, if you want to show the units. But at this stage, I'd be happy with just eight plus V. Okay, that's part one. Part two. is if the width of the book cover is increased by v centimeters, write an expression for its new width. Okay, so once again, our book, so that's eight plus v, this is five plus V. So that width is now five plus V. 
Now part three was finding an area, wasn't it? Write an expression for the new area of the book cover and expand. So don't forget about this bit, bit at the end, expanding it. Okay, so that area, that area is equal to 8 plus V times by 5 plus V. Okay, so expanding it, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times V is 8V plus 5. V times 5 is 5V, plus V times V is V squared. So the area is equal to 40 plus 13V plus V squared. So now looking at part 4, calculate the area of the book cover is V equals two centimeters. So now we have a, a value for V. So this is part four. So we get told V equals two. So with that, we substitute that into our area expression or equation. Area equals 40 plus 13 times 2 plus 2 squared. So area equals 40 plus 13 times 2 is 26 plus 2 squared is 4. So area equals 40 plus 26 is 66 plus 4 is 70 square centimeters. Okay, so part C. If the length of the book is decreased by D centimeters, write an expression for its new length. And I might do one and two at the same time. If the width of the book is decreased by D centimeters, Write an expression for its new width. Okay. So here we are decreasing things by D. Remember last time we were increasing, so adding. This time we're decreasing. So minusing. It's not going to go straight, is it? Oops. Try that again. And there we go. Okay, so that was 8 and it's decreased by D. This is 5 and that is decreased by D. So part 1 was our length expression, which is equal to 8 minus D. And part 2 was our width expression which is five minus D. Okay, so then next up, we get asked to write an expression for the new area of the rectangle and expand. Okay, so here, so this area is equal to 8 minus D and 5 minus D. So our area is equal to 8 times 5, which is 40. 8 times negative D, which is negative 8D. Negative D times by 5, which is negative 5D. And negative D times by negative D, which is positive, D squared. 
So the area is equal to 40 minus 13d plus d squared. Now part four. Part four. Calculate the area of the book cover if d equals two centimeters. So now we have our formula and we substitute in our known. Okay, so that implies that area equals 40 minus 13 times by 2 plus oops, 2 squared. So area equals 40 minus 26 plus 4. So 40 minus 26 would be 14 plus 4 would be 18 square centimetres. Okay, we're up to part Part D now. So if the length of the book cover is made X times as long, write an expression for its new length. Now, what does that mean? X times as long. X times as long. That means that we're timesing by x. So let's have a look at how we write this again. And I'll also look at this one, part two. If the width of the book cover is increased by x centimeters, write an expression for its new width. Okay. So part D. And again, we draw a diagram. Okay, a bit wonky, but that's okay. So our original dimensions were eight and five. So length has been times by x. So that's eight x, isn't it? Eight times x is 8x and 5 has been increased by x so that's adding x okay so part one was saying our new length expression which was 8x and part two was our width expression which is 5 plus x. Okay, so let's have a look at this. And write an expression for the new area of the book and expand. And calculate the area of the book if x equals 5 centimetres. So part three first is where we are expanding or finding the formula and expanding it. And part four is when we sub in, making sure we answer each one correctly. So 8x times by 5 plus x, and we're expanding. So that's 40x plus 8x squared. Okay, so our... V, x equals 2, doesn't it? Double check. Always double check. Sorry, 5. x equals 5 this time around. See, that's why you double check. So x equals 5. So we substitute that. So that implies the area is equal to 40 times by 5 plus 8 times by 
25, which is 5 squared. So area equals, okay, so I'm going to use my calculator to help me out. So 40 times by 5 is 200 and 8 times 25 200 so 200 plus 200 is 400 400 square centimeters okay